Let me talk to you in the next 15 minutes about Christian growth and maturity. Because God wants us to mature in this season. Are you listening to me? I might not preach to you this morning a message that's going to excite you, but I just want to show you a few things that you will understand that you need to mature as a child of God. Are you listening? Anything that is planted is expected to grow from baby to maturity. Anytime you plant a seed, you expect it to what? Grow. Do you put manure on it? Do you water it? Or you just leave it when you plant it? My wife has a plant in the house. And every now and then she takes that plant and puts water in it. And she said to me that this plant is not meant to be outside. It's an indoor plant. There are some plants that are meant to be both indoors and outside. And you water it and it grows. There are some plants that when you plant it, it doesn't grow more than a certain stage. It grows and stops at a certain stage. But God has given you a unique empowerment on the inside to grow beyond just the normal stage to grow above every normalcy to become better christians mature christians of tomorrow that's why he gave you the word children are born as infant from baby stage they start to grow you feed them fufu mcdonald when they start growing at a very tender age. Do you do that? You don't give them McDonald's. You feed them what? Milk. As a child of God who is newly born again, as a child of God, you start feeding milk. That means tender stage. You are getting ready to, to, to nourish your spiritual body so you can begin to grow, mature, gradually and gradually. Growing old is mandatory, but growing up is optional. I'm going to say that again. Growing old is mandatory, but growing up is optional. There are certain people who are in the age of 50s, but they act like they're in the age of 20. Have you seen that? They are not acting what? Mature. Why? Because they have not gotten to the level of maturity. Now go to 1 Corinthians chapter 3. I'm going to be reading from verse, verse 5. Verse 5. Who then is Paul, who is Apollos, but ministers by whom ye believed, even as the Lord gave every man. Go to the next verse. I have planted somebody say planted I have planted and Apollos did what watered but who did what God gave the word increase I'm gonna take that again I have planted Apollos watered but God gave the increase which means God is the one that gives the increase. The more you know God, God increases your understanding. The more you know God, God increases your level of prayer. God increases your level of giving. God increases your level of faith. You got to know that everything you are doing right now, you are planting or you are watering, but God is the one that gives you understanding. God is the one that gives you understanding. Without God, you don't have no understanding. You will just read the scripture. Go to the next verse. And you will not understand what he's saying. So then neither is he that planted anything. Neither is he that watered. But God that giveth the increase. Are you listening to me? It's important for you as a child of God to understand that God expects you to grow. Don't remain the way you are as a child of God. I don't expect somebody who is just newly born again to preach like me. I don't expect that. You may be in church for 10, 20 years, but you're not growing. There's no growth. There's no maturity. 